Good morning, sweet ones. Happy Saturday. How y'all doing? Well, I know how many of you are doing. <laughs> sweet ones, it's really necessary today to, to really, truly be really gentle with yourselves. And it's really helpful to know that everything that is coming up and being triggered, especially today, what will be triggered in if you're not already feeling it. There's a lot of grief and a lot of sorrow and a lot of of anxiety, fear, if you will. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Barat. And I, I've been on, on guidance calls since about 3 o'clock this morning. And, and the theme is is the same for for the variety that I've been on calls with. Sweet ones, what's occurring is you're really, truly, this is the fear of death. And, and, and I know all of you are going to say, we've dealt with it, we've dealt with it, we've dealt with it. But what I mean by that, this is, what is occurring and what is going on is truly the death of the emotional attachments you have to the physical plane of existence. This is part of that physical death but not dying process. And it's the emotional attachments to literally the memories and the people and experiences in, in your physical presence. And this is really showing everyone where there's still those emotional attachments. All emotional attachments, sweet ones, all of them, whether it's to ourselves, you know, the name of your vessel, the personality of yourself, whether that's your children, their personality, your parents, your experiences, your memories, whatever it may be. And right now, that is what is being presented and that is what is coming up. And when you can, again, make it impersonal, sweet ones, you can see where it is a fear of death. And many of you are in a state of anxiety because you're losing your memories. You can't remember things. You can't. And that is nothing to be afraid of. Again, you came back to relive the past, to change the past. The memories are of the past. And it's the emotional attachment to those memories that are being presented. And in order to have everything new, you have to be able to release your emotional attachments to those memories. And that's, that's the death that people fear, is the death of the memories. It's not the death of dying physically, that, people, that humanity is afraid of. It's the death of the emotional attachments. And right now it's being presented and showing all of us where we still hold those emotional attachments to the memories, the memories of experiences. And until you're willing to allow yourself and not judge yourself for being afraid to let go. Because until you face that fear of judgment for letting go, and that's the biggest fear right now that's being presented, there is much guilt and much, much blame and judgment on oneself right now. And that's because there's judgment that you can't remember things. You can't remember, you know, you're losing memories of people, of experiences, of things. And, and many of you are feeling guilty about that. And you're not understanding the guilt that you're feeling. And, and so that fear is making you grasp on even, even harder. And truly... That's the fear you have to face right now. We all do. Is that fear of you're not losing anything, sweet ones. 
you're not losing if you let go of the memories, if you let go of the emotional attachment to someone, something, some memory of, of some experience. Good, bad, or indifferent. You're not losing the memories, you're losing the emotional attachment. How you doing, sweethearts? I love you guys. And so it's really necessary to be gentle with yourselves right now. And truly see where you're judging yourself. Show, show what the mind may think you made a mistake. And, well, I know better than that. And, and I still did it. And you can't judge yourselves, sweet ones. You can't judge yourselves. And it's okay. There is nothing you're doing wrong at all. And that's where a lot of judgment, and that's this gateway on the 22nd <clears throat> that brought in this huge shift of light infusion. That's what it's bringing up and showing you. Because, sweet ones, your light body is not your flesh body. And as <clears throat> the more light you take in, your flesh is going to dissipate because it's expanding through light. And that's the fear that is being presented even when I say it's a fear of death. We can all sit here and say, I'm not afraid to die. Go look in the mirror. Because it's not a matter of being afraid to die. It's a matter of truly allowing the memories to die. The emotional attachments to the memories to die. And that's the fear of death that none of us have fully overcame yet because it wasn't presented until now. And that's the fear that is in the anxiety and the judgment and everything that is being presented today. And the ego... The ego is your friend your lover, your enemy, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband, your mother, your father. And as the right and left brain come into full balance and harmony and union, it's necessary to allow that to go that separation of each side of it to go and to really meld them together right now. And there's no room for judgment in that melding. Not against others and not against yourselves, sweethearts. So really allow yourself to be gentle because that's what's being presented. When you trace it back and you make it non-personal, you can see where the fear of death that you thought was laying down your physical vessel has truly never been that fear. It's always been the fear of the mind, of the old programming, the fear of letting go of the emotional attachments. And as the vessels continue to fully integrate the light infusion that has now bathed this planet in humanity. This is truly part of your mastery right now is allowing truly the old programming to go and overwrite all of it with your hearts. Divine love has no opinion, has no judgment, has no reaction, it just is. And as the full melding and unification of the right and left brain in your physical vessels with your consciousness takes center stage, if you will, the death of the emotional attachments of the separation have to go. And that's what is occurring right now. So really allow yourselves to be gentle. Reach out. I, I cannot stress that enough. Reach out. Don't go through it alone.
because if you try to go through it alone, you're, once you get in that emotional spin, if you try to do it alone, you will spiral. You're leaving a world reality where you had to do it alone. You had to struggle. You no longer have to do it alone. There is no lack in struggle. You you are never alone. You are reach out. We are all here for each other, hand in hand. And nobody ever needs to feel alone again. So please really be gentle with yourselves today. And no. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to fear. Step into the fear and you will see that there's no fear at all. It was just you afraid to die to the... To let the memories die. The emotional attachments die. I love you guys. I have another call coming up, so... Have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Be very gentle with yourselves. Pamper yourselves. And know you're not alone. We got this together. Hand in hand. Side by side. And really take the opportunity to ground. Grounding is necessary. Ground not only in, in through your breathing. And into the peacefulness of your heart. But earth. Ground into the earth and anchor in to the electromagnetic and geomagnetic grids. I love you guys. Have a magical, magical day. And know you got this. And together we got this. I love you. Bye-bye now.